thrift shopping in Gikomba which is one of the biggest thrift markets in Kenya I've realized that I've outgrown most of my clothes at since New Year so come with me let's go for some shopping it is some minutes past 5 a.m. in the morning that's why you're not seeing so many vehicles on the road After like two hours and some minutes, I arrived at the Gikomba market, ready to start the day. Gikomba is the biggest street market in Kenya, whereby you can find semi-used clothes, good quality at affordable prices, everything you can think of from clothing, shoes, household items in summary you can find everything at gikomba market going to this market shopping and living in one piece is a great achievement because activities in this market are very chaotic everyone is struggling to grab what they need Plus the scorching sun at the Gikomba market is not for the faint hearted. After the big hustle at Gikomba market now it was time to go back home and there is one unique thing when you board a bus from Nairobi back to Machakos and vice versa. There is always a preacher on board preaching the word of God. So before the journey starts, there is always a word of prayer. Well, as you enjoy the ride to and from the Kenya's capital Nairobi using the Mombasa Road, you cannot help it but notice the impressive road construction work that is going on, which means that in the near future, Kenya's roads will be among the best in the entire continent. Now this is Mulolongo town which is a town found near the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and many people call it the headquarter of enjoyment because of the loud music, Nyamachoma joins and so many eateries. So this is what I got myself from Gikompa market after roaming around the market for like two to three hours trying to look for some nice things to purchase for myself this is what I managed to get I've not yet unpacked this since uh, when I was at Gikompa on Friday and uh, right now it's Sunday morning around 11 a.m. so let's unpack this uh, Goodies together. <music> After moving around and purchasing whatever you need, 
what you need to do is just to go to those people who iron clothes we have professional ironers if there is any word like that we have people who specialize in ironing that's their source of income just ironing clothes for you to save time when you go home over uh, spending much time after washing while ironing what you need to do is just after purchasing just go straight to a person who can help you with the ironing and it is very cheap it will help you save time and money so i got all the clothes ironed this is one of them okay. number two i really love the color and the fitting i just can't wait to rock this i really love it the fitting everything about it is just perfect so this is number two doesn't have to be very expensive to make you look good the fitting the choice of colors how you match this color and that color will make you look your best so that was it with the unpacking i got myself 11 pairs of trousers and this one blazer in total they costed me 1200 kenya shillings which is around uh 12 dollars so all these all these trousers and this one blazer costed me 12 dollars how awesome you don't need to break the bank to look nice guys just have to be creative know what to get from where so he compare is that place which when you go and if you are willing to move around when you have time you will get some nice things so why i went to Gikomba is because i was certain that i'm going to get variety at good prices so you have to be ready to get tired because that sun at Gikomba is merciless my dear brother and sister you have to sacrifice because you get tired jua itakuchoma uchomeke kweli kweli so just be ready because you know what you're going for just be tough skinned banangia ukondani chokora vitu get what you want so let's go through some tips which will come in handy if you are going to be compare for the first time please if you have never been to that market and you're going there for the first time be accompanied by a person who is familiar with the market otherwise you might end up roaming around the market and you go back home very tired and empty handed yes it's the truth of the matter because you don't know what you're going to get where the market is so big and there are some specific places where you can get some specific stuff let's say you want bedings you want uh, kids clothes you want uh, adult clothes you want jeans you want uh, ladies tops we have some specific places which sell those things so if you are going there for the first time ensure that you're in in the company of a person who is familiar with gikomba i hope that is clear then number two ensure that you have your money in small denominations because you'll get stuff at 20 shillings 30 shillings 50 shillings 100 shillings so always have your money changed to small denominations it will save you time and it will also make you just look like you know what you're doing because in Kikompa, you just have to be alert which brings me to the third point when you go to Gikompa, you just have to be alert you, you just have to focus there is no time for losing focus otherwise you're going to lose everything at a so when you go to Gikompa, there is no room for losing focus you just have to keep moving you, have, you just have to keep rushing go get you go get what you need to get go purchase what you need to purchase and just get out of that place because it is hectic jua 
Jackie compass your mchezo. So it's advisable when you go to the compass. At least make sure that you go early morning. You don't need to wake up very early like I did because I woke up very early because I was coming from Machakos and I had to travel all the way to Nairobi. So if you're coming from outside Nairobi, you have to wake up very early to make sure that you are in Gikomba at least latest by 8.30ish, 9am. That's when you are going to get nice stuff that's when they are opening different bells here and there from there you can at least be able to select some nice things some nice things so when you're going to Gikomba and you're coming from outside the city ensure that you wake up early another thing dress down don't put on your expensive clothes don't carry your expensive handbag just go looking like a common common person, common mwananchi. Because they'll just look at you and they overquote for you the price. Something which you can get at 100 shillings, they will sell it to you at 300 shillings. So just behave like a common mwananchi. Because Gikompa is for the common mwananchi. It is the land of hustling. So don't go there with your English. Behave like the way the other people are behaving. And when you go there, please don't look like you don't know where you're going. If you haven't been there before, at least be accompanied by a person who is familiar with Gikomba. Otherwise, you're going to get lost. You're going to lose stuff because, yes, thieves are all over. They're just trying to look out for the newcomers who do not know what they are doing. All look like they don't understand what they are doing. So they just think who you are from the crowd. They follow you and then before you realize it, your bag is gone, your phone is gone. So just be alert. You just have to be alert when you go to Gikompa. Hakuna time ya kuzuba. Gikompa ni kuenda, kuenda, kuenda. Well, for those who are familiar with Gikompa market, just leave a comment down below. If you think that there is anything I've forgotten, which is a must know for the shoppers, for the people who would wish to go to Gikomba and shop or for even the frequent uh, people who frequent the market and they are not aware that this and that can be of help to them leave a comment down below in the comment section well I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please do remember to subscribe join this journey began with eva youtube family an amazing family of supportive people who are willing to support each other people who are willing to grow with each other people who are willing to hold each other's hands as we all journey to becoming a better version of ourselves thank you so much for watching leave a comment down below let me know what you think about this video give it a thumbs up that means that you like the video then if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.